Hey, Bryce, hard to love on B105, the Northland's number one for new country. It's Ken and Lauren, Thursday for you, and uh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing, doing, doing pretty good. Can I do an early breakfast club confession? What did you do? Well, nothing yet. So this weekend I'm doing the Ely Half Marathon. You are? Yeah. Was with Library Laura. Well, Library Laura and I are doing it along with some other running group friends. Oh, fun. So we're going to Ely tomorrow after work. I don't even want to say this. I've only run like five times in the past like three months. Well, you've been so sick. I've been unbelievably sick for two of those months. I had other major life events. I moved. Um, other things happened. And I just, so I just started running again like a few weeks ago. And now I'm doing this half marathon. I didn't want to like ditch because it's fun. We got, you know, we're staying at our friend's cabin. It's going to be a fun girls weekend. But like, I'm, I'm a little panicked. I would be. What? Well, I mean, you haven't run much. And then yeah, this is a I, half marathon. I mean, you've done it before. It's not like you're not going to This will be my do fourth it. half marathon and my third You'll one. Be fine. And my third one this year. So I'm telling myself it's fine. And, you know, it it is like riding a bike. I did a 10K over the weekend. Like, it, it is like riding a bike. You know, I'm not as strong as I was in June, but I'm I'm a little panicked. Yeah. In my defense, I, I have been sick for two of the past three months. So now that I feel better, I'm. I'm trying to think of where this goes. Is this goes some of the Shawaga Lake or something you get to run around? Everyone there? is asking me the course, and I haven't even looked because I'm just too afraid. Half marathon. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't have. Any, oh, there it goes. Yeah. All right. Neat. That'll be fun. You can go right to Ely. Mm-hmm. And then you'll be out there with a the moose and everything. I hope I see one. But yeah, I'm. I haven't <laughs> looked at it because I'm. I'm truly scared. Like hey. I can't. I, I. I don't know if I can do it. That lake is where I blew my snowmobile motor right in the middle of it. So when you think about that, I'll looking think about when, you're, you. when you're around the bay and you're looking to your left, that is where I I had to walk back. Should I FaceTime you? Uh, if you really want to do that during your half marathon, I think you're probably <laughs> well, give be... me a reason to walk. So <laughs> well, the good thing is people will be portaging canoes and stuff, so I can't be slower than them. So. <laughs> I would hope so. Maybe you should carry a canoe for the half marathon. Just to I can't even you. lift like my work bag. <laughs> I can't do that. But anyways, I'm scared. So well, good luck. Hopefully, I'll be here Monday. <laughs> well, keep a little big town and uh, Boondocks on B105. I forgot the name of the song. It's like the oldest song I've been on since what? 04? Long I'm all time. right. I need some ginkgo biloba. Below? What is that? Is that what? brain supplement? Supplement helps you stay sharp when you get older. Ashwagandha. What is that? I have no idea. I'm looking oh. it up now. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about Lawrence Country Lowdown. Okay, well, now I got to look up what Ashwagandha is to make sure I didn't just say something bad. Okay, so um, Kelsey Ballerini, she's officially an actress. Did you see this? She is? It's kind of like my two worlds colliding. So there wait, is a... Wait, yeah, I remember hearing something yeah, about so that. Yeah, so there's a new ABC drama coming out later this month. It's called Dr. Odyssey. <laughs> It features Joshua Jackson, and it's about a crew that works on a luxury cruise ship and saves people, like, from weird injuries, right? There's love and romance and all that. So it's coming out September 26th. That's like the love boat, but for doctors. Yep, ABC and Hulu. The trailer was just released, and Kelsey Ballerini is, like, in the trailer. So Oh, she's a guest star. Okay. Yeah, she's a guest star. So I was like, what is her role in this, whatever? She said, well... I'm super excited about this. She said more soon on my episode and my obsession with the cast. And she says, I spent the last few weeks screaming, crying, and throwing up in this fabulous world and crossing guest star off the bucket list. Hello. That's her right there. Out of 110 applicants, we found it. Looks Dr. so good. Max Bankman. He asked me a lot of water. Yeah, I saw her on the right way in the first yeah, one. Yeah, she's like right in the first. Oh, man. To introduce Avery. Wow, okay. All right, check it out. That's uh, interesting yeah, trailer. Yeah, so All you right. can watch the trailer now, B105country.com. There's other cameos. Shania Twain has a cameo. It's interesting because Kelsey is dating an actor now, and when they first started dating, she's like, I'm, you know, a musician. He's an actor. I'm good. But she probably saw him, you know, and was on set and was like, I want to try this out. So, and why not? So, and then you, did you mention Shania Twain's going to be on the first yep. season? Okay, uh -huh. I was busy trying to find the trailer here. Yeah, my but Kelsey's like right away in the yeah, trailer. So like the first person on it. Yeah, so we'll see when her episode airs. But Brett Eldridge, he is also um, back in action. He has a new Christmas album coming out. That's kind of like his thing. I He's Mr. Christmas. that's all he wants to do, really. Yeah, I agree with that. So that comes out um, September 27th. It's called Merry Christmas, Welcome to the Family. He says he's been writing it since his Glow Tour last year. He wrote all these songs by himself, added his own jazzy spin to them. Um, so they're original Christmas songs. And he has a song out now from that album with Kelly Clarkson called Sweet December. So you can hear that song right now on our app. 
I and think uh, I think Brett Eldridge just kind of didn't want to be super famous. Yeah. I think he didn't like that, and I think that this is just what he likes to do, and he's making money doing it. And why not? Yeah, and he's really good at it. He's very good at this Christmas concert. Too, yeah. You know? cool. And he has that good jazz voice and everything, so right. got to love it. And then last but not least, Carly Pierce, she just shared a photo of her, um, and she said, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm trying to normalize like a more real side of me and be okay with it. So she shared a picture of her without all of her fake hair. She says she has a lot of fake hair. Does she? She gets asked about it all the time from people saying, oh my gosh, tell me about your hair. And um, yeah, so she said that I'm looking at the picture she here. wants to normalize the fact that it's fake. And she's like, I'll send anybody a link if they want the fake hair. Really? Yeah. I think she looks fine with all of this. Yeah, but she does not have nearly as much hair as that I thought she did. Speaking of hair, um, I... Looked in the mirror, another Breakfast Club confession. Well, I'll, I'll say, I'll save it for Friday. I still have paint in my hair. Let's yeah. just leave it at that. So, Bob, could Vila do something here right now. Yeah, that's great. Good for you. I painted the other day. If anyone missed it, arm still. So- you know, five. It's a Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren. Singles you up. That's um, Jordan Davis for you. Coming up, seven ten uh, laugh off. Sorry about yesterday. We had a little bit of an issue there, but I'm back. We're we gonna, did have an issue. We don't need to get into it. We're gonna be great. Mm-hmm. And uh, then we got your brain teaser question again, which hopefully won't be. As- well, I don't know. We get a lot of people calling for it. When it was it's kind of fun. Really it's kind of fun when, you know, you don't get an answer right away. Yeah, and I'm, you know, I'm just sweat it out a little bit over so, here. Yeah. Just stay on time. That's okay. We did it. It's fine. And then uh, um, also this morning, we're going to do a new, um, we're, we're trying a new bit. I'm still working out. Okay. What well, let's need. not say that because it's coming up in like. <laughs> it's okay. People like to see I'm a very transparent person. Okay. You this know? is true. Mm-hmm. I'm figuring it out. Mm-hmm. It's also called managing expectations. Okay. And then over delivering is what you always want to do. Okay. So mm-hmm. that's what I'm trying to do here. So that's coming up around 740? 740. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. Stay tuned. See what happens. And uh, maybe we'll just can it right after that. You never know. It's coming up. <laughs> B105. B105 Breakfast Club. Ken Lauren. Good morning. We got the 710 laugh off. So we didn't do it yesterday. You won Tuesday. So you can decide. You want to go first? Go ahead. Okay. Ken, why are olives so great at Formula One? Well, they're just really good at pit stops. Good olive joke. Ever watch Formula One? Um, Racing? I think I've like turned it on, but it's not really my... No sports are my thing. You know? I watched the Netflix series on it in uh, Formula One or whatever, and it was pretty good. I it never... also scares me. Well, yeah, they go pretty fast. I don't want them to go so fast. I mean, for me, that's surprising. <laughs> nice. Lead foot over there. Okay. <laughs> I do. Lauren, what type of weed uh, lizard smoke? Marijuana. That was bold. Yeah. Very bold. Yeah. Yeah. Ken, what happens when you say no to dessert after you eat Chinese food? You lose out on a fortune. Oh, I get it. Fortune cookies are good. They really are good. Can you buy those somewhere? Anyway, sorry, what? Probably could. Sounds delicious. Lauren, what's green has six legs and would kill you if it fell out of a tree? Pool table. (laughs) I thought it was something with an iguana, and I'm like... No, 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 no. I thought maybe you had, like, an iguana. You laughed, though. I did. Dumb, Um, but I laughed. That's like, what's, um... What's, what's, um... Red and bad for your teeth. A brick. Yeah, a brick. Right. <laughs> so dumb. But that's kind of the point. So it's what's, all good. What's brown and sticky? Stick. Stick. Yeah. 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 Okay. There all you right, go. We'll Seven to laugh off. Yeah, right. All right. Your brain is your question. Coming up next on B105. B105 Breakfast Club. Ken and Lauren. Jelly Roll. I'm not okay. You know that, that song? You know, you put your headphones on and you listen to it. Mm-hmm. It's like the orchestra is just beautiful. I know. I was kind of in my feels with that. I know. It's just such a deep, there's, there's so much depth to the, the, mm-hmm. the song. Yep. Right. And I have some big news about Jelly Roll and Lawrence Country Lowdown. Oh, okay. Bob. But we got to wait because we have a brain teaser question now. Right. Here we go. So, very relatable. Let's just put it that way. Um, we had a question about, with this answer recently. So maybe if you listen every day, that'll help. But I was six, wondering it's unfamiliar. Yeah. Yeah. 62% of people say they are very overwhelmed trying to remember this. Yep. Yep. 
Don't ever change this on a Friday. No. 62% of people say they are overwhelmed trying to remember this. Mm-hmm. 727-B105. Call now. Good luck. And uh, you can win some Papa Murphy's mm-hmm. today. Okay. 727-B105 with Dylan. B105 Breakfast Club, Ken and Lauren. We got your brain teaser question. Take it away, Lauren. Okay, 62% of people say they're overwhelmed trying to remember this. What is it? Okay. Uh, I don't think it's too difficult today. Mm-hmm. I think it's easy. Could use a break from the difficult ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go to the phone and see what we got. Hi, B105. Um, is it all your passwords? Yeah, all of your passwords, which is a real pain in the butt. It is. It right. really is. How many? Who's this? Mary. Mary, how many passwords do you think you have? Oh, a lot. You know, you're not supposed to have them in different accounts, too. You know, like, you're not supposed to use them because they get in a data breach, you know? What so, do you mean? You're supposed to have right. every different password account you have Absolutely should have a different... not. Yeah, but that's what they say. Oh, my gosh. Because they get one of them and then get into all of them. It's too much. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, Mary, we got you some Papa Murphy's, okay? Great, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for playing. And uh, we'll do it again tomorrow right here on The Breakfast Club. Yep. Yes, we will. I'm just thinking of like how I just got an email saying I have to change my password at work. Mm -hmm. And it has to be, well, I won't get into it, but I dread the email. I was trying. I got it. And then I had to do it the last couple weeks ago. Um, I, you ever do this on your your iPhone? You have an iPhone? Yep. I suppose suppose Android do this too, but it says... May I suggest a strong password? You're like, okay, sure. So, and then it's like, you can never remember it. Well, but it's like iPhone, a bunch of random letters, numbers, right. capital letters. It's like, I can't even remember my normal passwords. But you use your phone to save your password, right. so you're all good until you have to log in on something else. And mm-hmm. then you're like, I have no idea what my password it's was too for much. that. It's a lot. It's just too much. It's a lot. You know, if the world was an honest place, we wouldn't have to have such... <laughs> right. right. Get off my soapbox here. 725, The Breakfast Club, your weather forecast coming up next. And then we're going to have a new thing. We're going to do, uh, um, it's uh, going to be Ken versus AI. Mm-hmm. We're going to see if I can beat the machine. That's very intense. I'm excited trivia. about this. Okay. Okay. All right. And if anybody has a piece of local knowledge that they don't think AI would know, like a secret that they don't think AI would know, share it with us. 727-B105 about where you're from. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I'm, I, this is chat. I'm, I got Chat GPT right here, ready to go. Okay, don't just, type anything until around seven forty. All right. Well, I guess uh, you'll be monitoring me on that. Mm-hmm. Okay. B one hundred five Breakfast Club, Ken and B one hundred five Breakfast Club, Ken and Lauren. Good morning. Okay, so we are taking on AI. You are. I'm gonna beat the machine. Okay. So how does this work? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is like, like I said, we this are is a, prepared. This we is a promise. work in progress. This is a work okay. in progress. I've been working hard on this. It's so. the first time we've done this, so. So here's the deal. I thought maybe I might know something more about local stuff than AI might know. Like okay. stuff you just like AI's not gonna look at. Mm-hmm. Right. So we had Mary earlier and uh, we got her and uh, that one uh, the brain teaser and uh, I gotta find a town so I want to so that I might know something about that AI might not know. Right? Okay. So let's go to Mary. Mary, where are you from? Carlton. Carlton. Okay. Tell me, tell me something about Carlton that that somebody that's not from Carlton wouldn't know. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Um, the streetcar is a cool place to eat. It has a lot of history mm. in Carlton, as from when the railroad was bigger. Uh, you know, bigger deal in town. Oh, I didn't know there was a the, the railroad was a bigger deal back in the day. Yeah, I think so. Mm, okay. We're not originally from Carlton, so I don't know all the history, but ah, well, but you found your place uh, and you call it home now, right? <laughs> yeah, for now. <laughs> <laughs> for now, okay. Well, cool. All right. So here's the deal. I got Carlton. I know a lot about Carlton. I've been there a lot. I was just okay. there for uh, the hog feed that was going on, mm-hmm. right? So I know a lot about seeing some places that aren't there anymore. Mm-hmm. So I'm asking ChatGPT. Chat GPT. Okay. Uh, what's the local's favorite place to go? What's the local's favorite place to go for food? Okay. And I'm typing in. It's generating an answer here. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Okay, here it is. The restaurant has a nostalgic charm as it's located in a building that once housed an old streetcar station. Let's talk giving about it a historic car. and local feel. It's a go-to spot for both locals and visitors after a day of exploring nearby Jay Cook State Park. Well, what do you, you know. I got that one right. So the... That right. was Chat GPT. That was Chat okay. GPT. I mean, I put it into a voice generator, but that's Chat GPT. Mm, okay. Okay. Well, how about this? I know this about. Okay. Here, I'm type this in. What 
man is responsible for raising hundreds of thousands of dollars for St. Jude Children's Hospital from Carlton. You mm-hmm. would know that answer. Yep. Right? Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? It's using me against it. What's going on over there? Here. Harold Ankrum, a retired Carlton, Minnesota resident, is the man responsible for raising over half a million dollars for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Over the past two decades, Harold has organized various fundraising events, including the popular Harold's Fiasco Golf Scramble and Harold's Flippin' Flapjack Pancake Feed. How did I know that? It, it's cited B105Country.com. I was going to say, did one of us write that? That's BS. Mm. Wow. Okay, how about this? Now, I was not going to know this because this is personal. Uh-oh. All right. Let's not get too personal. <laughs> okay, let me say this. Where did Ken Hayes meet... Harold Ankrum. It's not going to know that. It's not going to know that, right? No, it probably will. It's not going to know. It's not going to know. I think that. it probably will. What do you mean it's not probably know? How would it know that? Because it knows everything clearly. It's generating. Here we go. Okay. Ken Hayes met Harold Ankrum through Harold's Golf Fiasco, a charity event Harold started many years ago. The event began as a casual golf gathering with friends and over time grew into a major fundraiser benefiting St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Ken Hayes, a local radio host, has helped promote this event through his connections at B105 Radio. What in the world? This is scary. Creepy? This is scary. Isn't that creepy? Scary. Technically, it's wrong, though. Technically, it's wrong. Okay. Anybody in Carlton remembers the Cozy Cafe. That's where I met Harold Ankrum. Okay. Was that related to the golf fiasco? Yeah, we were, we were planning okay, so it. That, it was my so first time So I think it's still him. kind of one because it was related. And he goes, say. wow, you're, I like you a lot better in person, he said. I'm like, all right, thanks, Harold. That's a, compl- that's a Harold compliment, you know? Yeah, I guess so. All right. Well, anyway, I don't know. Who do you think won? I, I think, think Dave, yeah, I did, that I, was I, really I impressive, that's honestly. scary. Yeah, that was kind of freaky. That's why I don't have any desire to even learn how it works because it's just too scary. Terminator's coming. Nice. Know, not to freak anybody out, but it's... <laughs> yeah, not at all. Skynet's aware. Oh, my gosh. Yes? When you're finished with Lawrence Country Lowdown, I'm going to tell you what AI has to say about you. I don't like that. Okay. That's scary. No, it's good. Lawrence Country Lowdown. Uh, what's going on? You said well, you had some about Now I can't focus because yeah. I'm thinking about... I don't, I don't like that. Anyways, Jelly Roll is going to have a rite of passage later this month. He was just announced yesterday as a musical guest on Saturday Night Live. Jelly Roll is? Yep. When's that going to be? September 28th. Sorry, I was getting this thing ready. Focus, grasshopper. I'm trying. With Jean Smart, who's an Emmy winner. She just won an Emmy for Hacks. Um, and it's extra special because it is the 50th season and it's the premiere so that's pretty cool um he said be right back going to go cry for a few hours and call every family member i have and he says i'm bringing therapeutic music to my favorite show ever cool yeah so you can read more on that b105country.com um and then i thought that this was really cool jake owen you know he shared his decision publicly that he had decided to stop drinking. And just the other day, he shared a a video, and it was pretty long, but basically he said, September 16th, 2021 was a huge day for me. He said it was the day I decided that I was going to stop drinking. He said it might honestly be one of the things I'm most proud of that I've ever done in my life. He also went on to say that he was just not a good person when he drank. And he also encouraged others to um, stop drinking as well if it's something that's been on their mind. And he says, I'm happy for myself. I'm glad I made that decision. He says, it's made my life incredible. It's inspired other people around me. So if you're considering it, do it. Life is great. I'll be here to support you. Awesome. Yeah. I didn't realize it had already been three years. Yeah. Well, I remember. Well, I don't have to go into it. Yeah. He said, be kind to yourself. Don't let yesterday's mistakes define your tomorrow. And he says, every day is a new beginning. Take a deep breath, smile, and start again. That's deep. It's very deep. So anyways. That's true as well. Yeah. Right. Pretty cool. So um, you can read more about that on our B105 app. And then tomorrow, Kelsey Ballerini, she has a new song out. It's called Two Things Can Be True. She's also releasing a music video for it. It's off her new album coming out next month. Um, she's also going to be on Dr. Odyssey, which comes out later this month, which I will be seated for because it looks right up my alley. And then Justin Moore has a new song out tomorrow as well called Love Your Hometown. So Dr. Odyssey is one you were talking about yesterday or was that earlier today? Yeah. 
That's the one with the cruise ship. Yes, the right, cruise ship. Cruise ship, ship doctors. <laughs> and I'm going on a cruise, and I just hope that like I can, you know, just live live out my like dramatic, you know, fantasy of being on one of these terrible shows. But it might actually be good. <laughs> Who knows? It might actually be good. We'll so. find out. Okay, Lawrence Country Lowdown. All right, after this, Thomas Red, I asked ChatGPT. I can't say it. I asked AI okay. about Lauren Wells, mm-hmm. see what it would come up with. It's a little scary. Yeah. Just wait and see. It's amazing what it knows. Don't say anything incriminating. <laughs> Ooh, there's another avenue I could go down. Well, not incriminating, but don't like say my address or something. It doesn't know that. Okay. I don't even know that. <laughs> I don't remember. Thomas Red, un- <laughs> Thomas Red, Unforgettable on B105. It is Breakfast Club with Ken and Lawrence. We've been playing around with AI a little bit this morning. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, <laughs> So I asked, as we're going through this, I asked Chat GPT to mm-hmm. say, what I about to put it, tell me something interesting about Lauren Wells. <laughs> well, there's a lot of interesting, well, I'm a weirdo. Well, just wait and see what it says here. All right, you ready for this? <laughs> no. Okay, this okay, is what tell me something interesting about Lauren Wells. Here we go. Okay. Lauren Wells is a dynamic figure in the broadcasting world. <laughs> She's been in the industry for over a decade and currently co-hosts The Breakfast Club on B105 a popular country radio station in Duluth, Minnesota. Hey, we're popular. Thank you. Lauren moved to Duluth in 2017 to take on her dream role, and she has since become the brand manager for B105, overseeing the station's operations. It's true. That's pretty cool. That's cool. Okay. What was the next question I asked it? Oh, wait, no, here. I don't like this. Why not? It's very flattering for your dynamic figure. Apparently, we're a popular station, so thank you. You're a dynamic figure in the broadcasting. Okay, okay, hold on. Here it goes. Lauren is passionate about country music, and outside of work, she enjoys attending concerts, traveling, and running. In fact, she regularly participates in races, including the prestigious Gary Bjorklund Half Marathon. Prestigious? Her interests are diverse, spanning from coffee and Halloween to podcasting (laughs) about women's health, which she co-hosts with Essentia Health. That's true. I do have a diverse... (laughs) (laughs) Array of interests. It didn't bring up anything about Hawaii Five-0, thank God. It should. I mean, that's like the number one thing you have to learn about me. Right. Isn't that creepy? That was really creepy. Some of that was like from the bio that yeah, I had. Yeah, I'm sure that it was. Work. Yeah, right. But um, it came okay. from four different sources, though, it said. Concerning. Yeah. Well, it's... well, let's do Ken Hayes next. No, we don't need to talk about that one. Let me figure it out. I'll um, figure it out and then we'll circle. Back. Oh, boy. Weather forecast coming up next. And then uh, I don't know what else we got going on today. Uh, oh, the B105 cash cow code at 820. Just the B105 cash cow. Yeah, no big deal. I did do chat GPT. Okay, well, when Lauren figures that out, we'll get back to you in a week or so. Weather next, B105. Lou Bryan, love you, miss you, mean it on B105. It is Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren. It's 809, and today we are going to be uh, um, about 78 or so, and we got some showers and thunderstorms coming. So keep an eye on that for you. So this is something kind of scary. Did you get a new shirt? I got, I got three new shirts. Wow, what's on that one? I don't know. I Sorry. It yet. Squirrel. It's a bottle of wine. Um... It's a golf shirt again. There's a lemon on there. There's a, uh, I don't know what that is. There's a, it's a cocktail thing. Hmm. Oh, those are cocktail tongs. That's what that is. And stir sticks and little, little drink glasses and, uh, Love it. Jugs Sorry. of booze and mixers. <laughs> I was like, on what's one. on your shirt? Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, that's not what we're talking about. That's interesting. Um, no, so, you know how much I don't like spiders. Mm-hmm. We were packing up the tent last weekend. And actually, it was my cousin's tent. And he got, I heard him scream. And I go over and I look, what's up? Because that is a big spider. So all weekend, had this huge spider sleeping in their tent with them. Wow. Didn't even know. Not a big tent either. Did it have, like, hairy knuckles and everything? It was big. Mm, no. Like, I got a picture on it at B105country.com. I was trying to figure out what kind of spider it was. And I think I, using Google image search, you know, mm-hmm. I'm all about technology today, apparently. <laughs> using that Google image search, found out it's called a dark... Uh, wait, no. Yeah, a dark fishing spider. No. You ever heard of those? No. I thought it was a wolf spider at first, but it's not because it's got banded legs. Each leg has no. like a oh, black no. band around bands around it. Mm-mm. Did you see the picture of it? Yeah, I did. Did you zoom in on it? I didn't zoom in. No, I don't need to zoom in. I think I was meaty. I think I can just look at the picture and say, okay. And I was like, are they poisonous? They do have venom, but it's more like a, if you do bite, they do bite you. It's about, what are you doing? I just, I looked at the other picture. No. Really bad. You good? Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's as bad as a bee sting or a wasp sting. They say. So wow, that's about it though. I mean, it looks like- really gross. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not like scared of spiders, but I don't like that. But you handled that well. Good for good for you. I didn't go near it. Oh, 
Well, you didn't like start the tent on fire or anything. Well, so it was his tent. That'd be kind of rude. Yeah, but I had a frog in mine. I don't or like no, that either. A toad in mine. It had hopped its way in there. Hoppity. Lots of toads. So this you year. went to Voyagers. Like, yeah. Last time you went there, didn't you come across rats? No, mice come out a lot of times at night. You see the mice come out of nowhere, uh, everywhere, and uh, and and then you know it's kind of like a, it's almost like biblical when they come out of the. Uh, of, but that didn't happen this time. Okay, that's good because that has haunted me since you told me that. Toads come out though; they hop around. Mm-hmm. You know, you might have to step on those a few times. It's been a it's been a year for toads though. Like even up at the cabin, there's been a lot of toads running around. Interesting. It's because it was so wet earlier in the year. I guess I don't know. Very good for toads. Interesting. Where do toads go in the winter? Do they do they make I, it through the winter? That's a good yeah. I don't think they just die off. I don't know. Where do toads... We'll ask, ask Chat a, GPT. I don't know how. Where do toads I'll do go it in the winter? I tried to look you up. It says toads hibernate by digging burrows into the ground, often below the frost line to escape freezing temperatures. They go that far down, huh? Yes. Wow. Cute. See, we're learning something new every day. I learned a lot today. What about dark fishing spiders? Where do they go in the winter? Where do dark fishing spiders go in... Oh, someone else was looking this up. Oh, really? Oh, AI. They hibernate in the winter and can be found under stones in mulch inside homes. Ugh. They're cold-blooded, though, so they do well in the f- uh, freezing you, terrain. Thank you. I'm here all week. You I've bet learned- they're cold-blooded, cold-blooded <laughs> I've learned a lot. Uh, well, look a at lot. us. We're just very, We're very just educational it, today. Yeah. yeah, right. 813 B105. We got a chance to win up to $30,000 dollars the B105 cash cow. That is next on The Breakfast B105, it is Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren and Ben from Mainstream Fashions for Men. Good morning, friends. Sunglasses inside. Are you doing okay? They're prescription. Thank you very much. But I, oh, it I, looks cool. That was you. like a compliment. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling kind of cool. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just getting a little tired. I think you I are think tired. That's what it is. You know, wedding season has been awesome, but about this time of year, it's like I need to find my second wind. So maybe as you know, an, uh, an elite athlete runner, you can give me some ideas here on how to catch a second wind, Lauren. Is the elite runner in the room with us? Because it's not me. <laughs> I see. Well, it's, it's, it's probably your sunglasses. Is probably what it is. That's that's what's that's what's <laughs> giving you that tint of. Of elite runners. <laughs> Thank you. That's yeah, exactly. the nicest thing. Uh-huh. Um, it is wedding season still. Yeah. Um, how are things going in mainstream? Awesome. Yesterday was, I think, the busiest Wednesday we've ever had. It was awesome. Uh, my big brother is starting to work with me now down at the store, uh, which is great. So I've got some extra help down there. Um, and things have been going really, really smoothly. It's just a very busy time of year. Uh, but we've had a number of people just come in because I've been doing a little bit of Facebook and all that jazz about the new merchandise. And the store looks so awesome. It's so full of big, beautiful merchandise for fall. It's just a very exciting time of year where clothing nerds like me just get really excited. So there you go. What's your brother's name? Nate. Nate? Yep, yep. I told him he's going to start coming with me here in the morning. Yeah, I mean, and, I mean, um, I mean, he says not quite ready yet because he wants to sound like he actually knows what he's talking about because he's still kind of learning the ropes. That doesn't but, stop us. No, exactly. It doesn't stop well, me I mean, either. Rachel <laughs> came in once and she was nervous and she was fantastic. And oh, I'm yeah. wondering why she hasn't come in again. Well, because it's school season. Okay, that's true. Now. She has a job. Exactly. But I just, yeah, I know. She, I she does her. have a real job. But I'll get her again next next year. For okay. Tell her I summer. want her to come back in. I could have Nate and Rachel and me here. That'd be kind of That's a lot. Mind. That'd be a lot of morks in one room. <laughs> We're going to need some more microphones, but <laughs> we'll make it happen. Yep. That's yeah, funny. So yeah. there. What do you, uh, what do you, what pomade do you use? Oh, uh, you know what? This is actually. <laughs> We're going to be talking about fashion and style here. Uh, wow. I uh, I rotate through a bunch of different products. This okay. one is actually, this is Old Spice. I was trying something really? different. And so it's like a really inexpensive pomade, but I really like it. That's right up my alley. There you go. I got yeah. Old Spice deodorant on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to keep it. See, I'm, my, my hair is getting longer and I'm kind of letting her go. Yep. And I got to pull it back, but I, I don't, I can't keep it back. I, I have mean. an extra because uh, I always buy two of things that I like. So I can I can bring one for you. That's you really try nice it out and see if we can be buddies. It's really nice uh-huh. of you. Exactly. Maybe I'll wait to wash my hair until I get here, and then I can wash it. Because you got to put it in right after you wash exactly. your hair, right? Yeah, exactly. You're going to wash your hair in the bathroom sink? Yeah, why not? Seems like. Ken Hayes, he does whatever he wants. That's true, he does. Didn't you just have a birthday, too? Yeah. How was it? Uh, it was good. We went up to Voyagers National Park and Lovely. did some fishing and some camping and some other things. Did, did you catch anything? Yeah. Fantastic. Did you, were the, they keepers or not keepers? Couple. We good. had a couple that were keepers. Uh, I didn't I didn't do a lot of the catching the fish because I was captaining the boat and making uh, sure everybody else was having a good time, but I did go. catch a really nice smallmouth bass. Fantastic. So That's a country song right there. That is. <laughs> you I was out captain the boat, song. but I did catch a smallmouth bass. Yes. Write that down. That's a good one. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. We should throw that into chat. probably already GPT. out there. Yep. Yeah. Well, Ben, it's great to see you. As always. Thank you for coming. You um, betcha. 
bring me that pomade next week. I think I can actually do it. Like I said, I got an extra, so I'll bring it I down mean, for I you. I mean, I could go and buy some, but you knowing could, me, but it's I'm, more fun to get free stuff. He's gonna. F- I like that. Forget. I'll forget. And yes, thank you. Yeah, so if you forget, so. it's okay. <laughs> it's right. perfect. Well, I'll see you next week either way. <laughs> All right, we'll look great together. Ben Beauty. from Mainstream Fashions for Men. Thanks for coming in. See ya. 841-B105, Carrie Underwood. All. B105 Breakfast Club, Kid and Lauren, and we got some angel here to brighten your day with Lauren Wells. So our angel is actually a group of angels today. A team of scientists has have come out with something that I can get behind. They basically say... Your next vacation could save your life. Why is that? Uh, They get into like laws of physics and stuff, so I'm not going to get into that. But basically, they just say it's actually so good for your well-being and your emotional state and your body that it actually could extend your life. Because of the the anti-stress properties of it? Yeah, like you're actually relaxing. You're enjoying time with your family and friends. You're clearing your head. You're getting fresh air, all of those things. So right. I mean, if scientists are saying that a vacation could extend your life and save your life, who are we to say, never mind? Does it it compensate for the fact when you get back from vacation and then you get hit by a freight train of stuff that you didn't? I know. You know, that's the problem I have with vacations. Yeah, well, like I said, they actually looked into, like, laws of physics, which I'm not going to get into, but, like, tourism has health benefits and just a lot of things. So you can Google that. You can read more about the study, but... There's more to life than just working. There is. Right. I tell myself. <laughs> yeah. If you can, if you, but like I said, then you come back and it's like, oh. Yeah, you need like a vacation from coming back from vacation, you know? I like the idea of coming back from vacation with like a day to spare before yeah. you have to go back to work just so you can but settle in. That's like so impossible. It's I hard feel to like, do. Yeah. yeah, right, right. You know, you say, I need a vacation for my vacation. Mm-hmm. Well, well, look at that, Lauren. Thank you. Uh, take a vacation, would you? I'm, I'm going to try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's 849 at B105, Blake Shelton. Justin Moore, this is my dirt. I'm B105, Northland's number one for new country. So I got a, uh, a letter from my insurance company for my homeowner's insurance in the mail yesterday, and it said urgent. Mm-mm. I'm like, what? I, I don't op- like that. I open it up, and it says notification of your homeowner's policy cancellation. Scam. No, because it, it was, it, it all was legit. It checked out as my account number and everything. I'm like, how the heck is this? Because, you know, I pay my homeowner's insurance through my escrow. Like mm-hmm. the bank pays it, right? Mm-hmm. I said that was like twenty five hundred dollars I owed them. Was it real? Yeah. Why do you owe them twenty five hundred dollars? That's what I thought. So then I quickly like mm. I sent a picture. I sent a picture of my wife. Like what's going on? And then I'm like, okay, calm down, breathe. As so I called, and it turns out they lost a check in the mail between the bank and the insurance company. So it wasn't on you. And they fixed. They'd already fixed it. it the letter had, it had That's been resolved. That's scary. Like, yeah, like that could have given me a heart attack. Like I'm Born glad that seasons. I also escrow my homeowners because yeah. I don't want to be responsible for that. Well, you actually have to. Oh. With most most conventional loans, you have to have it escrowed, and yeah. uh, also the property tax is the first thing they get paid too. I just mean I I like that that happens because yeah, right. I don't want to be responsible for it. Yeah, or for anything really. <laughs> That's <laughs> neither here nor there. Scary though when you get one of those. I would have cried. I, I would have cried. I didn't cry. Well, that's good. But I did. Uh, B105 Northland's number one for new country. We'll see you later. Uh, Joe Danger is coming in next. Listen while you work in these uh, more cash cow codes coming your way. The next one coming up at 1020. We'll be here all day giving you those along mm-hmm. um, al- along the way. And um, also just remember that um, we have Breakfast Club Confessions tomorrow. We also kind of spilled some of ours today. So you got to do something else questionable today, Ken. Oh, don't worry. It's already been done. Just for, just for the bit, you know, just wait, just wait and see. I'm I'll a little scared. I'll goof up something. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll talk tomorrow and we'll, we'll give you the code coming up at 10 20 yeah, here. We'll be here. B105 and commercial free continues with Laney Wilson.